Hello there, my name is Mark Barbas, your data protection pal, and today we'll look into this topic called social engineering. So before I give you the formal definition of social engineering, I'd like to ask you one simple question. Will you give your password and PIN number to someone who calls you over the phone, uh, over email, or maybe even some instant messaging platform? I believe your answer is a clear no. However, that is exactly what social engineers do. And you'd be surprised how many unsuspecting innocent bystanders or individuals fall prey to this. So how does, uh, how do we define social engineering? So according to Wikipedia, social engineering is a psychological manipulation of people into performing actions or divulging confidential information and is also defined as an act that influences a person, probably you or me, to take action that may or may not be at their best interest. And more often than not, social engineers do it for their own interest and not for your interest. Again, don't trust me. Look at these uh, recent articles on the Singapore newspaper and the somewhere in US. A woman loses $300,000 to a uh, telco service writer posing to be giving some technical advice and using uh, some social engineering methods, got hold of her PIN number and kind of raided her bank account losing more than $300,000, I mean, $300, which is ridiculous. And just uh, before the Christmas advent, you even have power companies in the US reminding uh, customers to be very careful of scams and impersonations from these horrible social engineers. So how then do we protect ourselves from this evil? Well, one way is to first understand how these social engineers work and what kind of methods they will use. So there are three basic types of social engineering. One is phishing, second, vishing, and three, impersonation. So the first one, you might already heard of it, phishing, and that's the act of using emails and uh, fake uh, links to steal your passwords or logins. And often they are very good uh, Scam, uh, spam tools to prevent this. However, vishing is the one that we have to be very aware of. People calling and uh, impersonating um, the authorities or important bodies, you see. So that's where we need to understand and prevent ourselves from falling into these scams. So how do we then prevent ourselves? So under first of all, understand what social engineers do to get information from you. So more often than not, they will do some research, especially if they want to target a certain type of profile of people. As for example, elderly folks who just taken out their, their, their pensions or in Singapore we call it CPF. So if they have done enough research, they will then go on to build rapport. Yes, you heard about the Nigerian scans. Oh, you know, I lost my, my relative and I need your help to get the rest of the money out of inheritance. So that's an old story, you see. But Social engineers typically build rapport with the unsuspecting individual. And the moment there is enough trust, the social engineer go to work and get the victim to review information and often confidential information such as logins, passwords, PIN numbers, or even 2FAs, which means that the SMS that comes to your mobile phone. And more often than not, you probably don't even know that you have just given away your, your uh, password or PIN number. And the moment the social engineer gets the PIN number, alas, they basically rob and reap. So how do we prevent ourselves from these evil social engineers? First thing you can do, there are four suggestions I'm going to give you. The first thing you can do is always be skeptical. Always be skeptical of a call received especially from an unknown number or worse from a number outside of your local country. Why would some, why would a government office or a important office call you from an overseas number? Be skeptical and check. How do you check? Ask them questions. Verify them before trusting. And one of the ways to verify is to make a callback. Ask them for their landline 
ask them for their reference and call them back because if you can't call them back they're probably from some unknown country and whatever it is remember never review any sensitive information never give out your passwords pin numbers or even personal information about yourself on the phone on email on instant messaging platforms so i hope you remember this please do not only apply it to yourself but also share this with people around you to protect themselves so that they can combat these evil social engineers so my name is mark barnabas your data protection pal and i'm glad to uh, answer more questions just uh, add the comments below or catch me on social media and don't forget to subscribe like and subscribe good day and goodbye